So a while ago one of my subscribers sent in a modern army helmet for destructive testing and I now finally got around to doing something with it. It may be mostly pointless but I do like some anachronistic folly. I wanted to know what a flintlock musket would do to it. First I'll show you the loading and firing of this reproduction brown bess and then we'll get to the helmet tests. This reproduction has a 69 caliber bore as opposed to the 75 caliber that the brown bess usually had and the charge was 100 grains of 2FG black powder. Distance about 15 to 20 meters, or yards roughly. This one came in at an odd angle, it would be almost like shooting from a rooftop, so that made it glance off. For the next shot I shifted the helmet down for a more natural angle. For this one I use the old bucking ball, so one larger lead ball and two smaller ones. Here are the results. The first hit glanced right off, didn't do anything to the helmet. Didn't even dent it substantially. The other hit, that's a major one, that just dented a pretty large area but it still held up and I think there's enough space yeah there's enough room under underneath that the head would be mostly unharmed I mean this would still be unpleasant and probably concussion could even cause brain hemorrhaging hard to say whiplash things like that but uh, the, the skull itself shouldn't be fractured from this I think however there was also one hit that went low and actually broke the helmet in the back here. However, it looks like the helmet still stopped it. I don't think it went through. No, I, I can't really see or feel the lead ball in there, so it probably just fell down. Um, so it, I don't think it went through. It just did a lot more damage here. So I think the zombie is okay. Blood brains. The result of tests like this can vary quite a bit depending on the load and the distance. If I had shot it with, say, 120 grains at 10 meters, I may have gotten through, whereas the damage would have probably been minimal at 100 meters. Either way, this was a fun video to shoot, no pun intended, and I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.